we are now going to do the most famous lecture demonstration in all of physics, the hunter and the monkey. So this demonstrates the fact that all objects fall at G regardless of x, y initial conditions. This demonstration goes back to Galileo when it was called spirale la scimmia. So well, here's how it works. We imagine that we have the ground here. Here's the ground. And over here we have a tree, very tall tree, and it's kind of a, got palm things on it, kind of like that. I, I think it's a palm tree. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. And it's got a branch, a nice rigid branch like that, and there is a monkey hanging on uh, to this tree. That is a monkey, and he's like that. He's got some legs and a tail, and he's holding on to the tree like this. His arms are going up and holding on to the tree. Over here is a hunter who's going to shoot the monkey. So the hunter has a gun, and he has aimed it directly at the monkey, like that. But what happens is he shoots the gun, big loud bang, the monkey gets scared and lets go of the branch. So at the instant he shoots, the monkey lets go. So we know the monkey's going to fall. And the question is, does the monkey get shot? That's what we're trying to figure out. Now, to figure this out, we're going to use something in physics that's called a thought experiment. So we use these a lot. We have spherical cows. We have zombie cats in boxes. And now we have this. The thought experiment we're going to do first is we're going to imagine what if we had no gravity. Let's write the kinematics as though there's no gravity. So let's say, OK, well, the bullet, we'll say, uh, leaves the gun, let's call that the origin. And the time the bullet leaves the gun, we'll call that time equals zero. The time, that way the bullet leaves the gun from the origin and uh, the monkey drops at the same time. Right, the bang scares the monkey, it all happens instantaneously. Okay, so let's think then, what would the kinetics here be? Well, if we think of the y position of the bullet, y b for y bullet, it's gonna have some initial y velocity, right? It's because we know the bullet comes out with some speed v naught and it'll have an x component and a y component and a direction. So we know that it's going to have some v y naught, and its uh, height, or the, the y position of the bullet in time, is going to evolve like this, v y naught times t. There's no initial position, and there's no acceleration, because there's no gravity. Now the monkey, y of the monkey, is going to just stay constant. It's just going to be, we'll call it y naught, the height of the monkey. And since there's no gravity, it's not going to fall. Right? So y of the monkey is y naught for all time. He just hangs there, or he just floats there in space. And does the monkey get shot? In this case, the answer is yes, as long as the gun was aimed correctly. Right? So if the gun was aimed properly, meaning at the right angle, then simply the geometry of the time it takes the bullet to get here would have to be the same as the, the height it goes here to hit the monkey. And since we drew a straight line, and we know that without any forces, an object in motion will remain in motion, we know that the geometry is going to work out. Okay, so the monkey is going to get shot dead, monkey stew for dinner. Now, let's turn on gravity. So let me draw it again. Here we go. So yeah, we got gravity on, and we got our tree, and it's still a palm tree. It's not going to be drawn quite as beautifully this time, and it still has a branch here. And there is still a monkey hanging from the tree. Here he is, and oh, he's a little bigger, and he's holding on like that. Monkey's still there. The hunter is still aimed directly at the monkey. All right, so the hunter's gun is still like this, and we're still going to call that the origin. But now everything falls down with G. So now in this case, let's think about the uh, kinematics equations. The bullet, let's do YB 
for y of the bullet. It starts at the origin, 0, and it's still going to have the same vy0. So it's going to evolve, the position will evolve in time as vy0 times t. But now it's going to fall at minus 1 half g t squared. Okay? And what about the monkey? The monkey is ym. Started out at y0, that was the monkey's height. And before without gravity, it just stayed there. But now it's also going to fall at minus 1 half g t squared. So you can see just mathematically that they're still going to hit. Right? Because it was set up where these two terms are set. The velocity is just right, and the angle is just right, so that the monkey gets hit. So if all we do is add the exact same term to each one, they're both going to fall the same amount. Okay? So the actual trajectory will be something like this. The monkey will fall, and the bullet will take a curve, and the monkey will go down, and they'll still get hit. As long as you're aimed to hit it, and as long as the monkey releases right when the bullet leaves, you'll always get a hit and we'll always have monkeys too. So let me see how we're going to do this uh, in the lab. All right, everything is set. We've got the gun, the bullet, the switch, and the monkey. Now I just attach this highly sanitary tube to blow into this, like that. And I take this end, and here we go.